Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Over the last week or so, Microsoft has started to test a couple of new changes and features in the Edge Canary browser, which is a pre-release version of the browser that they used to test and experiment on new features which they could possibly roll out to an up-and-coming stable version of the Edge browser in the future, as many of you do know. Now, I did post a video a couple of days ago where we did take a quick look at some of these new changes and features, and I will leave a link down below to that video if you're interested. Now, once again, in my overnight update to the Edge Canary browser on my Windows 11 uh, laptop, I have now seen an, a couple of new changes and features that are rolling out that Microsoft has started to test. Um, and at this stage, one or two of them are on a controlled rollout and are only appearing on my Windows 11 device and not my Windows 10 device. Now, in no particular order, um, the first new feature I think will be will be of particular interest uh, to gamers. So if we just head to the settings menu, system and performance, yeah, under optimized performance, there's a new uh, toggle and setting called improve your PC gaming experience with efficiency mode. And the description says, when you're playing a PC game, Microsoft Edge reduces its computer resource CPU usage to create a better gaming experience. And that setting is toggled on by default. So basically, if you are gaming and the Edge browser uh, is on the same system that you are gaming on, uh, this is going to reduce your computer resources if this setting is applied and toggled on. So I thought gamers would find that of interest. Now, the next feature that they are uh, starting to test once again is to do with the appearance um, of the browser where um, the new setting gear is changing another aspect of the browser to match the look and feel of the Windows 11 operating system. Now in my previous video a new setting rolled out where we had to use a flag called show experimental appearance settings um, and you can go check that out if you missed that previous video as I said, I'd leave that in the link, uh, that video in the link uh, below. Um, the new exper uh, show experimental appearance settings flag added this setting, show Windows 11 visual effects in title bar and toolbar preview, which adds the marker effect to the title bar and toolbar backgrounds when using the default theme. Now, this is the second uh, new setting now that's um, rolling out um, if you have that flag applied, which says use rounded corners for browser tabs preview. And before we toggle that on, if we just look at the tab currently in the Edge browser, it uh, has the look of being attached to the actual browser. So now if we toggle that on and we have to restart uh, Edge Canary to apply that new setting, you'll see now once restarted, the tab is actually got the appearance of hovering and um, uh, floating above the actual browser. And I don't know if you can pick that up in the video. And if I just open some more, just to give you a better and wider perspective, uh, it looks like it's actually hovering and floating above the actual browser. And we can see that it's got the fluent design, the rounded corners to match the look and feel, as mentioned, of the Windows 11 operating system. So Microsoft clearly uh, giving the look and feel of the Edge browser um, a, a lot of attention with uh, these new settings that they are testing where they are, you know, trying to get the browser obviously to fit and match that of the Windows 11 appearance and theme. And then the third and final new feature, um, which I just want to mention today in this video, and it's quite a key change, is actually uh, to do with the Edge bar. Um, and so currently, if we just head over to the uh, current stable version of the Microsoft Edge browser, and we just launch the Edge bar, this is how it currently looks. Um, and I have... Uh, uh, posted many videos on the Edge Bar previously, but just to summarize quickly, it's basically a news and interest feed and you have a couple of extra options here, which is basically a floating widget on your desktop and has a vertical layout. Now, if we just head back uh, to the um, Edge Canary browser and we launch the Edge Bar, yeah, you'll see that it's taken on a totally new look. And when you uh, first launch it, you will see a pop-up appear uh, that says now you can search the web directly from your desktop uh, which goes on to say with the edge bar you can get to your favorite sites or easily access web answers like today's weather and then for settings click the three dotted menu so basically in a nutshell this looks like it's just a shortcut to the edge browser which just places the edge search on your desktop and once again uh, you can move that around like any widget and uh, um, it's taken on a horizontal 
appearance as opposed to the vertical appearance of the edge bar uh, which is found in the stable version currently so if we just test this quickly i'm just going to type in your abc as an example and that will uh, launch that search in the actual browser and then if we just go back to that edge bar and we click on the three dotted menu this gives us our settings uh, the your obviously your uh, user account you're using your profile one guest account different profiles on by default about uh, send feedback and then you can actually close the widget so it's changed from the uh, vertical layout to a horizontal layout and is basically a shortcut to the um, Microsoft Edge web browser and as I mentioned all of these th these three changes I've mentioned today um, are, uh, have just rolled out and are currently being tested so it's early days but I will keep you updated as I do get more information but I thought this edge bar change is quite relevant as it has lost a lot of the actual um, options and features that you find currently uh, in the edge bar in the stable version of Microsoft Edge so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one